Hey everyone, and welcome to another Zim tutorial. Today, I want to explain you the basics of creating a Zim configuration. I will also show you how to update your Zim firmware. Next to that I will show you two methods with which you can backup, restore or share your game configurations. This video will be the basis of any future configuration tutorial that I will upload. First I will show you how to activate the expert mode of your Zim Apex. Most of my configuration tutorials make use out of the advanced features of the Zim Apex, which are locked behind the expert mode. After that I will show you how to update your Zim game profile list. This will allow you to always keep your game profiles up to date or to download newly released game profiles to your Zim Apex. The third topic will be about the process of creating a new game configuration. This topic will include the specific in-game settings that your Zim requires in order to work as intended. The fourth topic will be about the copy and paste code of your game profiles. It's one of two ways on how to backup or share your Zim configurations. After that I will show you how to update your Zim firmware and how you can check out if your Zim firmware is outdated or not. The last thing I will show you is how you can use the Zim Flash tool to backup, restore or share your game configurations with a PC or Mac. If you have troubles to understand this video then you can either ask in the comments down below, or you can click on the pastebin link in the video description. This will forward you to the English text of this tutorial that you can for example use together with a translation software. But let's start with the first topic of this video, how to activate the expert mode of your Zim Apex. When your Zim manager is running, click on the options button in the top right. After that click on global settings. In the following menu you can tick the box next to the expert configuration. This will allow you to get access to the advanced settings of your Zim, such as the polling rate option which just popped up. You can now hit the save button in the bottom right and then exit this menu with the arrow button in the top left. A lot of features hidden in the advanced settings are not necessary to have a great Zim experience, but if you want to get the most out of your Zim then I recommend you to give the expert mode a try. The second topic of this video is about the process of updating your Zim game profile list. Whenever a new game profile is available, or an already existing one received an update, your Zim manager will notify you about this with a notification arrow in the top right. When you click on that button it will forward you to the download menu. At the bottom you can learn about the changes of this download update. In my case there is an updated game profile available for Battlefield 5 plus the new Warhammer game is now supported by the Zim as well. When a game receives an updated Zim profile, such as Battlefield 5 in my case, then I highly recommend you to create a new Zim game configuration for it. The reason is that your old game configuration will not be updated. That means all of my existing Battlefield 5 configurations will remain untouched. To benefit from the update, you have to create a new configuration. These kinds of updates are very rare though and are only required if game developers implement major changes to their games and their mechanics. The updated Zim game profile has been optimized for exactly those changes to grant you the best possible mouse movements. If your Zim doesn't show you the update notification, but you would still like to double check and download the latest game profiles, then you can do the following. Click on the options button in the top right of your Zim manager. After that proceed to the global settings. At the bottom of the global settings you can find the force games download button. By pressing that button your Zim will not only download the latest game profiles, but also download all other game profiles with their latest versions. This is a great way to make sure that all your game profiles are on the latest versions. Whenever I create a new configuration, I usually do this step in advance to have the latest profile version of the game that I am about to create a configuration for. The download may take a few seconds depending on how fast your internet is. Your Zim will give you a pop-up notification when the download is complete. 
In the third topic of this tutorial I will show you how you can create a new game configuration and how you can find the required in-game settings for your Zim. Start by clicking on the options in the top right. After that, press the new configuration button to open the Zim game configuration library. Here you can search for your preferred game that you want to play. You can either scroll through the list, or use the search bar at the top. I will use the search bar to filter out all Battlefield games. Once you have found your preferred game in the list you can click on it once. The next step is to choose your console at the bottom. Your Zim will then load a new game configuration for that game. After that, a pop-up window will appear in which you can learn more about the required in-game settings for your specific game. If you already closed the pop-up, then you can reopen it by clicking the wrench button in the bottom right of the game picture. Press the yes button, and you will be forwarded to the Zim forum. Here you can find the in-game settings that your Zim needs in order to give you the best possible mouse movements. Please, do not use any other settings. If your game is not part of the list, then all you have to do is to set the controller sensitivity to maximum in the game. So head into your game and adjust its options. After that you can start to customize your new Zim configuration. The fourth topic is about the copy and paste code. It is part of the advanced settings and can be found in every Zim configuration. Click on the editing button in the top left to enter your current Zim configuration menu. At the bottom you can expand the advanced options by clicking on the button with the three dots. There you can find the copy and paste function. If you press the copy button, you will generate a code that will include your whole game configuration and its settings. The code will look like the one you can see on this picture. You can now share this code with a friend or use the code as a backup of your game configuration. If you want to use the code of a different player, then make sure to copy the whole code including the arrows. After that create a new configuration for that specific game just like I showed you in the previous topic. The last step is to go into the editing menu of that configuration and press the paste button in the advanced settings. Your configuration will now be identical to the one that you copied the code from. This is a great way to share or copy the configuration of a different Zim user without having to manually adjust and change all of the Zim settings. For example, in all my game configuration guides you can find the copy and paste codes in the video description. The fifth topic of this video is about updating your Zim firmware and how you can check if your firmware is up to date or not. To check your firmware version, click on the options button in the top right. After that click on the about button at the bottom. Here you can find the firmware of your Zim and your Zim manager. By looking at the firmware number itself you can identify how old it is. The first few numbers are referring to the year, in my case 2018. After that you have the month, in my case 11, so November. The last two digits refer to the day, for my firmware that is the 9th day. So overall my firmware is from the 9th of November 2018. This is very useful to know when comparing your current firmware to those listed in the Zim forum. If you want to update your Zim firmware, or just check if there is a more recent one available, then your first step is to head into the Zim forum. You can find a link to it in the video description. Scroll down until you can see the Zim Apex bar. At the bottom you can find the download section. Click on it to enter this forum area. Here you can now find the current official firmware. This is the firmware that your Zim ships with. The one at the top is the latest one, it's from May 2018. The ones below are older, they go all the way back to 2017. These are still listed because it is possible to downgrade your Zim firmware. I will tell you more about that in the next topic of this video. At the top you can find the beta download area. Click on it to enter this forum section. Here you can find the very latest firmware versions. These firmware versions are release candidates and will soon become the new official Zim firmware. There are no downsides from using these beta firmware versions as they have to meet the same quality standards as the official Zim firmware. 
all of my configuration tutorials are based on the very latest beta ZIM firmware. The reason is that only those firmware versions have the latest ZIM features. So, if you watch one of my configuration tutorials, and there is a feature in it that you cannot find in your own ZIM manager, then this most likely is an indication that you do not use the latest ZIM firmware. But how do you update your ZIM firmware? It is actually quite simple. Start by clicking on the ZIM firmware of your interest in the ZIM forum. I will go with the most recent one, which is from December 2018. It is actually newer than the one I use in this video, which is why I will update it now together with you. At the top you can read about the changes of this firmware. Everything that has been added since the latest official ZIM firmware will be listed there. This firmware introduces five new features compared to the firmware that the ZIM shipped with. At the bottom you can learn more about the update process. Sometimes a new ZIM firmware also requires you to update your ZIM manager. In that case you can find a ZIM manager bar with instructions and download links below. This is very rare though and usually not necessary. So, if the manager bar isn't listed or mentioned, then an update of your ZIM manager is not required. The update of your ZIM manager can be done through your phone itself. Just click on the Android or iOS link through your smartphone browser itself. As for the ZIM firmware, it can only be updated with a PC or Mac. You cannot update your ZIM firmware with your phone. The first step is to download the ZIM firmware for PC or Mac. I will go with Windows for this tutorial. While the firmware is being downloaded, unplug your ZIM from your console. At the top of your ZIM Apex you can find a small button. Press this button and keep it held down. While you keep holding down this button, you will now have to plug your ZIM Apex into your PC or Mac. Once your ZIM is connected and shows a constant blue light, you can stop pressing the button on the ZIM. The next step is to start the ZIM firmware flash tool that you just downloaded. Once the ZIM firmware flash tool is running, you can find several options to choose from. At the top you can find the update firmware button, with that button you will flash the new firmware onto your ZIM. The factory reset option is the one you will use when you want to downgrade your ZIM firmware to an older firmware. When your ZIM is bricked you can also use this option to restore your ZIM. The factory reset option will delete all your game configurations, so make sure to use the backup feature before you do so. I will go into more detail about that in the last topic of this video. Your game configurations will not be deleted when you update your firmware. Since I want to do exactly that, I will press the update firmware button at the top. My ZIM will now be updated to the latest version. The firmware update process will not change any of your game configurations, everything will stay the same. The update may take a few seconds so please be patient and do not unplug your ZIM during this update process. Once the update process is complete, the ZIM firmware flash tool will give you a notification. It is now safe to unplug your ZIM from the PC or Mac. The last topic of this video is about the backup and restore configuration option. Next to the copy and paste code this is the second option with which you can back up your configurations. This method will back up all of your ZIM configurations at once, and not just one specific configuration as with the copy and paste code. As you probably already saw, the ZIM firmware flash tool has a backup and restore function. To use this option, set your ZIM into firmware mode again. So just like before, hold down the button on the top of your ZIM and connect it to your PC or Mac. Your ZIM should now show a constant blue light again. After that you can click on the backup or restore button in the flash tool software. When you click on the backup button, the flash tool will ask you to which folder it should save your backup. With the restore option you can browse through your PC or Mac folders and select a backup file. Since all of your ZIM configurations are backed up, this is a much more efficient way if you want to backup several configurations at once. 
If you have any questions about the Zim, or about the Zim basics that I showed you in this tutorial video, just ask in the comments down below. If you liked this video, hit the like button or even subscribe to this channel. Also, let me know if you would like to see more of these tutorials in the comments down below, and I will maybe see you in the next one. Until then, enjoy your Zim experience.